Hello, welcome to this video. Um, this is basically uh, something that I've touched on in sort of my, many of my recent videos uh, around VPNs. Um, it's following on from what I've just done about an IPsec tunnel between two microtics and we're using um, basically um, side to side IPsec um, and we're using certificate authentication. So, um, but what I thought I'd do a dedicated on is what I've mentioned in many of the videos I've done is about we don't always have static IP addresses from our ISPs. Um, I do in this instance, but for example, if I didn't, then we'd, uh, you know, there's no way of manually updating them every time. Um, so what this uh, feature is going to use is dynamic DNS. So we have one here, which has, for example, has a dynamic IP address. Um, these are both my AWS hosted CHR ones, um, but they could be any marketing. The only difference is uh, with the CHR, you do need a valid license for the dynamic DNS service to work. If you purchase to, you know, a HAP or something for your own um, home and you want to use that, that feature is available. So let's uh, let's jump into it. Um, so if you have seen my other videos this is my what i'm calling my australian one because it's hosted in uh, in australia in aws um and then i've got an ipsec tunnel which i'll show you which is still up and running uh from my last video established um but if we go to peers we can see that i'm using the ip address of the host which is this one here um so if we jump on this side what we're going to do is we're going to update this one to use um DNS entry instead of its IP address. So if we go back to the Australian one, let's assume that this one, this IP address could, in fact, it probably could because it's a, um, it's a, I don't think I've actually enabled this as a static IP within AWS with its elastic IP. So um, it's very, very likely that that IP may change. So uh, what we do, go to IP cloud, and then this is a dynamic DNS feature, we just literally enable that and then apply. So normally what you have to use is a, is a third party dynamic DNS uh, provider from with most devices um, where you, and then you're limited to what provider that that device will actually, you know, use. Some of them you have to pay for. Um, there are free ones available, which you have to um, every month basically confirm that you want to keep this host name but again that's a pain because if you miss that email or you forget to do it then you know, you know host name expires and then your tunnel drops and whatever or you you can't connect to your client to your vpn server whereas this is this is free and built in unless you know like i mentioned this is the chr so we just have to i'll just show you the system license and this is outlined in my um video i made about um deploying a chr in aws we have the p1 license there which is a valid license. It's not the free or the trial. So that's another thing to be careful. You can use a two week trial when you first deploy your CHR. However, that gives you the throughput of the, because the free license only allows you, I think it's 10 meg throughput, whereas the P1 is one for one gig. And then they do a P10 and a P unlimited. But the, um, yeah, it's just important that you actually have a valid license for this feature to work. But anyway, so now we can use either this host name here or um, what I've also done is for my domain, I've added a, um, a, a C name, a chrono chronological name, uh, which I won't go into, you know, domains and records right now, but uh, you're probably familiar with you know, how that works. If not, take a look. Um, basically, all it's going to do is resolve. There we go. So it resolves it because what it's doing is it's actually resolving to that. So that is if you were deploying this as your VPN server and you wanted to give that out to clients, it's a much easier name to remember than obviously remembering all of that. So for our demo, what we're going to use is this one. Uh, so that's enabled. We'll keep that one up. Now we get jump onto our UK one. And we're just going to change our and before we do that what we'll just do is we'll just confirm that this uh this winbox can actually resolve that host name it's always a good thing to check first because you know, it could bring our toll down 
because of that reason. There we go, so it's pinging. It's resolving that, so that's not a problem. Now we can just change it to that, and then uh, apply. Okay, let's, let's confirm we've still, still established, there we go. We will just uh, make sure we can ping the other side. Again, the video I made to explain how to set all this, um, this tunnel up, both using PSK or certificates. Uh, links in the description, check those out too. But I thought it's worth just getting because uh, sometimes people know all that stuff and they just, but they didn't know about this. So I thought I'd just make a separate one just to outline it nice and simple. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. If you uh, have any questions, comments, please leave them on this video. Um, so thanks for watching. Check out my website if you've got, uh, you know, I've got lots of other articles on there. Also of the how-to guides. Um, but otherwise, please like, subscribe. Comments always welcome. Um, and then, if not, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.